Welcome everybody, I'm Kill Zomzone, and I got my second tattoo! Now, this tattoo, you guys, if, if anyone's known me for quite some time, they were expecting this to be my first. Now, for those that don't know what tattoo I got, let me uh, whip it out. It's pretty good. Got it all figured out. Got it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty Gucci. It's pretty nice. It's a half sleeve, basically. Um, yeah, it's pretty sexy. On the same arm as I got this Punisher skull. So, um... Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty nice. I did that all in one session, which was interesting because everyone apparently thought I was going to be a bitch, which is funny because every single time I've gotten a tattoo, which is twice, they've always thought, oh, Matt's going to be a little bitch. And they were slightly right about the first time, not right at all about the second time. But the first time, as you guys already know, the Punisher Skull, it was pretty all right. I was like, okay, this is fine. When they got to my tendon, though, that's when I contemplated my life choices up until that point and wanted to kill myself. This one, though, this one was actually easier to get than the Punisher Skull, and the tattoo artist was actually surprised I was able to do it all in one session. She recommended to do it all in one session, so I said yes. And she was surprised I made it all the way through because apparently she wouldn't have been able to do it if it was her. She has a lower pain tolerance, I guess. So it was interesting. It was about a four-hour tattoo. It was, uh, it was all right, you know? I'll put pictures in here as well, like, of the line work and the shading and all that, so you guys can just look at it and see, like, the progress that it made over time. It was really nice. Now, for those that don't know, there's this thing called line work. I know, it's a huge thing. Line work is basically where, um, let's say if you were drawing a regular thing on paper, right? Line work is where you get the outline of your idea of what you plan to draw. That is where you just, you know, you, you make the general appearance. So if, like, you were drawing someone like me, you'd be like, all right, let's draw the jaw, right? And let's draw the head, let's draw the shoulders, but you wouldn't draw in the features, right? You would draw just this, the signature parts of the character. That part requires, I guess, a more, like a, like a certain kind of um, tattoo stencil, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, that is more, like, concentrated to one location. That part... Fucking hurt. That shit kicked my ass. Um, and that went on for about an hour. You know, she did the whole line work for the character or whatever. And it was it was alright. It was fine. Um, and that hurt. That was probably like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 pain. Now, what she ended up doing eventually was this thing called shading. Which shading requires, I guess, for the tool instead of it all... Because it's, it's little blades when they're doing the little tattoo... Uh, the tattooing, it's a, it's a bunch of little tiny blades that are focused into one area. That's, you know, the line work. The shading, instead of the blades being concentrated into one area, they're more spread out like this. Genuinely, genuinely, that was a lot easier to deal with than the other one. That was probably like a 4 out of 10 pain, maybe even 3. Like, it was honestly fine. And throughout the entire tattoo, I'm like, alright, you know, this is fine, this is alright. And when we made it to the 3 hour mark... That's when this shit started to catch up to me, started hurting a little bit. I didn't bitch or whine or anything, but that's when I was like, I'm starting to feel the soreness of my body. That's when I was starting to feel it, you know? And that's when they were doing, um, if you look right here, the blue and red, like the dripping water effect kind of thing, um, th the watermark color, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that's when that, like when she hit that, that was the very last thing that she hit. That was when this shit started to hurt. And... You know, overall, was it worth it? Fuck yeah, it was. I fucking love this thing. This is my favorite tattoo. It's funny because people legitimately thought this was going to be my first tattoo. They always thought that if he was going to get a tattoo, it was always going to be, you know, Spider-Man. It was going to be the first one. It's just how it's going to be. And, you know, twist the wrong. They're exactly right. But I got the Punisher one because I wanted to test my pain tolerance and see if I could even handle a tattoo. Because I always wanted a half sleeve that was dedicated to Spider-Man. I always wanted that. But I just didn't know if I could handle the pain. Because I always heard mixed things about tattoos. Whether it was the worst pain ever, or it was just, eh, or it was, you know, you know, etc. And then I did it, and it's like, it's not that bad. It's really not. So at this point, I have two tattoos. And I actually really like them. They're really nice. And if I had to rate this tattoo pain... Out of 10, because the last one, the Punisher Skull, honestly, it hurt a lot more than this one. Uh, the forearm, it definitely hurt a lot more. Um, I would say the Punisher tattoo, in terms of pain, was probably like an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. This one, overall, if I had to rate it, probably be like a 5 or a 6. It was genuinely a lot easier to sit through this tattoo than it was the Punisher one. Genuinely. But, um, yeah, so, 
overall, fucking love this tattoo. And I'm really glad I got it. It made me really happy and it looks fucking amazing. It looks great. Of course, there's gonna be pictures in this video for you to see more. But anyway, so with that guys, I'm just one video to close. Kill his arms on and I'm out for now. Peace.